CBS News has confirmed that Al Qaeda and ISIS are actively testing new bombs that can fit inside a laptop computer and contain little to no metal so that they can get through airport security. It scares the living daylights out of me, to be honest with you. International salesman Glenn Anderson is a frequent flyer at Newark Liberty Airport. He doesn't like hearing about new terror threats targeting planes or that he may not be able to take his laptop on board with him. I use it on every flight. I, I, I work on planes because when I get home, I want to not work. On March 21st, the Department of Homeland Security banned laptops, tablets, video games, and other electronics larger than a smartphone from passenger cabins on direct flights to the U.S. from 10 countries in the Middle East and North Africa, including Saudi Arabia, Turkey, and the United Arab Emirates. And we now know the reason why. Terrorist groups continue to target commercial aviation and are aggressive in pursuing um, innovative methods to undertake their attacks to include smuggling of explosive devices and various consumer objects. In fact, Somali officials say it was a laptop bomb that blew a hole in this airliner last February, and an Al Qaeda offshoot claimed responsibility. We had the shoe bomber, the underwear bomber, the printage cartridge attempt. Now this is the next level. Retired FBI agent Manny Gomez says what really troubles him is that terrorists apparently now have the same scanning devices that U.S. airports have had in place since 9-11. That's the technology that they are testing their equipment on. We need to be more proactive, be several steps ahead of them, and go to the next level of technology. Right now, the laptop ban does not affect any domestic flights here in the U.S. or flights originating here, but experts tell us that could change in the future. Reporting from Newark Liberty Airport, Brian Connie Bear, CBS 2 News.